We did get to see a few peaks of sunshine across the area today, but more clouds starting to move in this afternoon and evening. For the most part, it's going to continue to be a pretty quiet night, not really tracking any active weather, but that cold weather is going to be sticking with us. We have temperatures right now back into the 30s and low 40s. Mount Vernon at 34 degrees, Marion coming in at 39, Paducah 40, and then we've got Sykeston at 43 degrees. It does feel a little bit cooler than this thanks to the breeze, so it's feeling more like the 20s when you take into account the wind chill. So bundle up if you're getting out this evening. It is going to be a cold night. More below average temperatures will be sticking around into the weekend, and we've been talking about it for a while now. Still expecting that bitter cold to settle in by late next week. So some really big changes coming ahead of the holiday wide look of the radar. Lots of snow flying uh, just off to our north across parts of Wisconsin, even extending down into northern and central Illinois. Here at home, we are going to continue to stay dry. There is a chance for maybe a few isolated flurries as we get into tomorrow, but for the most part, really nothing substantial. We will wake up to temperatures in the 20s to start the day. When you take into account the wind chill, it's going to be feeling a lot more like the teens and low 20s. So another cold start to the day on Saturday. Mostly cloudy skies do stick around throughout the entire day. And even as we get into the afternoon, highs only going to be climbing up into the mid to upper 30s for high temperatures. And then the wind chill value is still going to be feeling like the upper 20s. So very, very chilly as we kick off our weekend. Good news is we'll see a little bit more sunshine as we get into Sunday. But so Storm track three up. Of course, you can track the cold temperatures right there on your phone. We will warm up just a little bit with the sunshine on Sunday, climbing up to about 37 degrees, 39 by Monday, and then we're talking about another dip coming our way. We are going to be back down into the low 30s by Wednesday. Here comes that Arctic blast by the end of next week. 26 degrees for that high on Thursday. And yes, you're reading that right. A high of 16 degrees on Friday, which means those low temperatures are going to be quite a bit colder, maybe even running in the single digits. Six to 10 day temperature outlook. We are expecting that cooler air to really settle in place. So make sure you're ready for the holiday and bundle up. Maybe finish some of that shopping this weekend if you don't want to deal with the cold. The one thing that is certain about next week is that we are expecting that cold air to settle in. Now, what continues to remain in question as far as how much and uh, when we will see that is that chance for some snow. So there is a chance. I'm not saying there's not a chance, but uh, don't get too excited just yet. We are going to keep a close eye on that. We'll fine tune the details as it gets a little bit closer. And there you go. We're talking uh, Thursday into Friday, four degrees mm. as we start the day. That's a little too cold. Yeah, just stay inside. I'll have to <laughs> do that. Thank you, JC.